So it's that time of the year again. You got to bring your tank in for a visual inspection. You leave it with your local uh, dive center. And a couple days later, they call and they say, hey, we got a problem with your cylinder. We found a crack in the neck of it, and we're going to have to condemn the cylinder. Well, upon further inspection, you look at it and you determine it's not actually a crack. So how do you handle that? Let's find out together. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina, and if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going over some of the mistakes that visual inspectors make when they visually service your tank or visually inspect your tank. And I know a lot of times people will call me up and they say, hey, can I look at the tank before you actually condemn it? And usually when I condemn a cylinder, if I'm expecting it, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll reject a cylinder. I won't actually condemn it, I'll reject it and I'll let another visual inspector go over it just to make sure that what I'm seeing is a crack in the threads or just, you know, damage beyond what can be repaired. And so I'll reject that cylinder and I'll let another visual inspector look at it and then if he rejects it as well, then we condemn it. But I'm going to show you a common mistake that a lot of visual inspectors make where they may think they have found a crack, but upon further inspection, if they dig a little bit deeper, they'll notice that it's not really a crack. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi right, guys, so I got several different cylinders here. These belong to a good customer of ours, and he brought them to me and said, hey, can you visually inspect them? Can you O2 clean them and get them filled back up for me? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So during my visual inspection process, this tank here has an apparent crack in the threads, and I've looked at it several times, and it appears to be a crack in my eyes, or in, in my training experience, I would say that it's a crack. But instead of just immediately condemning that cylinder, what I'm going to do is actually get a hold of another visual inspector at works here, and I'm simply just going to reject this cylinder for now until they can do a visual inspection process on it and see if they come up the same conclusion. And the reason I do that is I want to give this tank the benefit of the doubt. I want to make sure that I'm doing a good, thorough visual inspection because I don't want to be condemning a cylinder that does not need to be condemned. Now, based off the totality of the circumstances here, I'm pretty much done with this cylinder. However, I want to show you exactly what I found and one of the ways that visual inspectors make a mistake by not testing for and show you why a lot of cylinders are getting condemned when they shouldn't be condemned. So if I zoom in, this is just an um, optical viewer here that we use. And essentially on tanks, what we're looking at is the threads here. It's just part of the 18-step protocol we go through. We're looking at the threads, and we're looking for any type of cracking in those threads that's caused from overstress during filling processes and things like that. So if I zoom in here, and hopefully the light will work for us, but if I zoom in here, you'll start to see the threads there. And as I turn, I can look at each and every thread. And I'm going to stop it just temporarily here, and I'm going to draw a circle around it for you. And in short... And the camera, unfortunately, is not showing up as well as what I can see with my eyes, but there's a crack right there, about right where the glare is there, there's a crack. Now, typically when I see this, the first thing I'm going to do is immediately reject a cylinder. It doesn't mean anything bad, it just means I'm going to reject it, I'm going to finish the rest of my inspection process, and I'm going to come back to just that part. I'm not going to pass it, I'm not going to fill it, I'm not going to do anything, and then once I finish the, the rest of the visual inspection process, I'm going to get another visual inspector in here, and he's going to look at it to determine whether or not what I'm looking at is actually a crack. But I do want to show you something really quick. If we zoom back in real quick here, and we really inspect that, that crack there, and I'll circle it for you one more time, I can kind of see that it's a raised crack. And what I mean by that, if we look at my fingers here, my fingers, let's say, are the threads. And imagine if I drew a line straight across my fingers here. That would be determined a crack, if you will, if it goes through more than, say, one or two. And if I see it raised up like that, more than likely, it's not actually a crack. So I'm going to show you one of the things that we do real quick to help us determine whether it's a crack or not. All I need is a little brass pick. I'm going to take this little brass pick and I'm going to come over here and once again I really hope the camera can see it. I'm going to count down the number of threads that I counted in the optical viewer and I'm just going to kind of go in between the threads and if you look really really close and hopefully the camera, let's see if we can get the camera to focus here. If we look really really close at the end of that pick there 
you'll notice that there's a little bit of debris. And that happens to be a little bit of metal shavings, it looks like. But that's what that crack is. And a lot of times when we look for cracks, that's what we're looking for. It just looks like a piece of hair laid across the, the threads of the cylinder there. So now that I've determined that that was debris in the tank threads and not actually a crack, I can continue on by going back with my optical viewer here and actually go through. And now I notice that crack has magically disappeared. So check that out, guys. So this is a common mistake that uh, I know a lot of newer visual inspectors uh, make. And a lot of tanks will actually get condemned that should not be condemned. Now, I know the certification agency which we use, which is PSI and PCI, there's times when I'll take a picture, just like I'm videoing for you guys, I'll take a picture of that and I'll email it to them and I'll say, hey, what do y'all think? Can y'all send me another visual inspector who's got more experience than us? Can y'all come look at this? And the reason, another reason I want to make this video is not just to say, you know, we make sure things are the way they should be. We do good thorough visual inspections here, but we're also a diver, divers just like you. We don't want to condemn tanks that don't need to be condemned. So a lot of times I'll send pictures into PSI and PCI and say, hey, this is what I found. What do you recommend at this point? And if all else fails, they'll come out and look at it for themselves. That's one cool thing about those guys. But I just want to make a quick video and show you some of the common mistakes that are made and finding debris like that is a huge common mistake i know a lot of my guys here that are visual inspectors they'll reject a cylinder and say hey i found a crack let's look at it and then when i look at it i'll find debris in it just like that but guys if you take your tank in before it gets condemned make sure that visual inspector gives you a call so that you can look at it as well Hi guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it was educational for you. If you got any questions on cylinders, maybe how we vis them, things like that, just drop me a comment down below and I'll try to go over it the best I can with you. If you're interested in a PCI or PSI visual inspector course, you can look them up. They're local here to North Carolina. They can travel pretty much anywhere to teach a class. A lot of times they'll go to their local uh, dive centers in their area or somewhere and they'll teach a class for a group. But if you're interested in learning that, look them up on the internet. It's just PSI and PCI.com. I'll link all their information down below. They're a great group of guys. We've been using them for years. That's who we hold certifications through to do visual inspection process. And we actually did an interview with the owner many, many years ago. I'll actually link that video as well or I'll put it up here somewhere for you. Go check out that video because it's very educational as well. Because I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business